Welcome back to Panoya Crossover. Jared's still here, PJ here, Mike and Mike's here, and Coach Mike, thank you again for being here. Uh, let's talk about the SMNBTC. Great program because last year the kids that played there are now playing in the Philippines. Yes. Talk about the results of SMNBTC. Talk about the players that are in the Philippines right now. Uh, so it's our third year playing for the SMNBTC. Mm. You know, we're very thankful with, uh, to coach her. Anton Altamira, uh, to coach Eric Altamirano and the SMBTC family mm -hmm. for giving us the opportunity to be able to, to play back mm -hmm. home. And uh, in the past two years, as I said, we've been participating and uh, that resulted to five players being able to, or getting scholarship back home. Mm -hmm. We have James Canlas and Alvin Florido uh, now with San Beda Red Lions. Yeah. Uh, we have Evan Santiago is now with UP. Mm -hmm. um, Robert uh, Ocampo is now with St. Benil de Sal. And of course, Ben Kouwukome, who just recently played for the UST. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that they, you know, they were part of such an instrumental program that got spotlight on them. Mm -hmm. Ben played in UST, like you said, recently. And then the others are going to start to have their spotlight on them this coming this year. year. Right? This year, because so, of residency uh, issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this, so this, pro this, this hype and this, you know, excitement probably are going to come to the kids that are coming now. Yes. Talk about the people you're bringing to the tournament now. You have two teams, you said. It's not only one, right? Yeah, for the SMBTC, uh, yeah. we're bringing one team. Oh, okay, for one team. Because basically, this this year we're joining two tournaments: the SMBTC and the Dreamers League. Mm -hmm. So, but. Basically, the SMBTC is the much more more important uh, tournament, no? mm. most, most more pre more prestigious tournament. So we're bringing this year. We're bringing some of the kids from Malaysia. Mm. So probably I think eight or seven players from the from that team yeah. for them to be able to get the experience. Because again, we're preparing for 2019 <laughs> SMBTC. Yeah. So, but of course, it doesn't mean that we're we're being a we're being a. Uh, a not so good team. Mm -hmm. We still have Matthew Davis, mm -hmm. we still have Andre Cruz, yeah. uh, we have Elijah De La Cruz, and mm -hmm. we have a couple of 2,000 kids that were really good also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so that's the composition of our team right now. Mm -hmm. uh, half of it are basically young, but good players, mm -hmm. and uh, half of it are. So some of it have already experienced, like Matthew Davis and Andre, mm -hmm. and there are four new ones. Yeah. How did um, how did uh, you were how were you able to get your hands you know being able to uh, have the opportunity to get into this kind of tournament? How did it start for you? How was do you have a story or like a crazy um, story in terms of how it happened? How were you able to get into? Yeah, on the on on, on our first year, um, mm -hmm. we really had to prove who we are. You know, so mm -hmm. have to send videos, have to send, have to talk to people. Yeah. Uh, win some tournaments here, especially the Intercity, mm -hmm. just to be able to show them that there's talent here in Canada. Mm -hmm. And then, fortunately, when we first participated on our first year, there was really a very good impression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and from that on, from that day on, they knew already there are really good talents here available mm -hmm. for recruitment back home. Mm -hmm. So, they keep on, I mean, but probably that's the reason why that they keep on inviting us. Because we can really play at par with the best of high schools in, in the Philippines. Yeah. I mean, our losses are one point, two points, wow. mm. passer beaters. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they really know that there is talent here. It, it has opened the door for Filipino Canadians to be able to, to show their talents and get recruited back home. Mm -hmm. What about... Um, what about the other Filipinos in different provinces? Have have any of them tried to contact you saying like we want to be proud because you you bring Canada right? Mm -hmm. Has there any been like I know we we join the intercity tournaments mm -hmm. like NABA and FBA. Yes. Has there been any I know thought in your head about like how about these kids from Winnipeg or should I you know because there's yes. some good players yes. from Winnipeg, yep. some Montreal. Montreal. Yes. Yeah. yes. So what what's your strategy for that or? or um, Do you have there are people that, who yeah. actually contacted me, some mm -hmm. from Alberta, some yeah. from Winnipeg. And uh, of course, our main issue is logistics, right? Yeah. So it's important for us, for, like for example, for me to be able to see how the kids really play. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, uh, coaches back home tells me what do they need. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. 
So if I have that already here in in Ontario, I mean Ontario, yes, or Toronto, then probably I would not bother going to to other provinces, right? Mm -hmm. But if there's someone that's really extraordinary, six five, six six, <laughs> and really yeah. athletic, yeah. and that yeah. is something that we would we would, uh, probably uh, we would consider for sure mm -hmm. for so. tournaments like this because. Going back home, it's also not just about talent, but it's also about being able to play as a team. So if you're if you're just talented and you cannot play practice, you cannot practice with us. That's a difficult one. Yeah. So that's one challenge actually we're facing right now. That's why I'm bringing half of the Malaysian kids, yeah. or half of those kids who came from Malaysia because. Our our older kids right now they haven't played together for a long for a while. Mm. So just an assurance I'm bringing the O1 kids yeah. to be able to, you know, just in case, you know, something that I would need to pull some players, then they're available right there. Because mm -hmm. yeah. it is a different style of play in the Philippines. It's a very like, different style, very different. It's not one-on-one -on -one a lot. It's there's everyone, like there's the five, yeah. the, the, the playing time and time. everyone gets to play equally and it's yeah. different offenses. And it's and different. Actually, different. Um, yeah. my question is to you, like, how do you strategize your? How do you? Uh, what's your strategy in terms of you know style of offense and defense that you have your uh, the kids that you coach play in order to like, succeed in the you know in the Philippines? But do you have a certain style of play that you let them play so that when they play in the Philippines they're more successful or they're more effective? So one thing that I did for this year is mm -hmm. I got I recruited uh, new coaches. Mm -hmm. So. People they, they are actually have played back home, so they have a very good idea on how how kids play there. So mm -hmm. I have recruited Jeff Bombeo, mm -hmm. who used to, to play for or a captain for San Beda Red Lions. Mm -hmm. I also have J V Valles, who who also played I think from University of San Carlos, and of course Rod Garcia, yeah. who is one of the top coaches yeah. right now yeah. in uh, in Ontario. So we're working together. We're we're we're, we're also getting help from. Uh, from Cedric, from mm. Nate, who wow. are really good trainers, professional, so, trainers, professional the trainers. NBA so trainers. that's <laughs> that's one thing. And, and they're yeah. giving it, they, they're giving the training for free. Wow, because they so, know it's high performance. They know that yes. Talk about the fundraising and and, and the upcoming FBL. Uh, anything you'd like to promote or tell anyone to stay in tune or to follow you guys? Yes, again, uh, of course, we would like to thank everyone who's been helping the program, mm -hmm. uh, sponsors. Uh, of course, we have some fundraising events. Uh, one that's happening on Saturday, mm -hmm. we have a classic Tito Pare, Titas. Yeah. <laughs> no line dance. Kind of no thing. Line. No line dance. <laughs> All 80s and 90s. <laughs> All 70s, 80s, and 90s. Then. <laughs> so we have that. It's a sold out event already. Mm -hmm. And we had, we had some, some fundraising events as well where who really generated a good amount of money to help kids pay for their airfare. Mm. So uh, FBL, of course, are started. Uh, it's on the way right now. We're almost halfway, mm. hopefully to be done by, by May. Of course, Turkey Ball in yeah. October. Mm. Turkey Ball, yeah. This is our main, main, main thing. Mm. Okay. So again, for this, for as of now, we're really busy with our practices, yeah. fundraising efforts, you know. Mm. And we are very, very grateful to those people who who really uh, supported us throughout mm. the years. We have Ascenso, PNB, mm. uh, that's top of my mind. Uh, Check their Facebook page. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there, yeah, there's so many of them. You have, a face, you have a Facebook page and you have your own website, right? Yes, we yeah. do. We what, do, was do. The, what was the website that you can tell them? So the, the website is uh, basically all the things that we do are is at, is at the uh, Filipino Basketball League. Mm that league republic.com so it's all about basketball about crossover sports yeah. about the fbl yeah. mm -hmm. so about our sponsors and everything is all there and all right. they're also on facebook as well so yes. you guys can like the page as well all right thank you mike for being here thank you, thank you also thank you thank very you much, for doing Patrick. all that for the community mark anything you'd like to say before we end i'm just grateful that we have like you know people like coach mike and yeah. coach rod and all these people that are just helping kids get more exposure you know in the philippines and all over Canada, all over Toronto area too, right? Though I'm just grateful to see that. JR, anything you'd like to say? Uh, yeah, just don't forget us to hit us up on Pinot Cross, or we'll share Team Cross over Canada's page as well, so you can like their page and check their uh, events, tournaments, and their fundraisers as well. So we'll share that on our Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram. Yeah, that's all. They said everything. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay balling.